hello guys in this video i am going to show you how to model a component and analyze it in ansys mechanical apdl so i am going to model a rough brake pad so this is the rough design of my brake pad this is how it will look like with some rough dimensions that i am going to assume so i'll design this brake pad in nx nx10 go to new um, give it some name say brakes click ok now go to sketch select a plane now you should be concerned about this plane because this is what it shows up in ANSYS 2 so you should be careful I'll select the XZ plane click OK so I have selected the XZ plane now I'm going to model it here I'll make a line of say 80, 80 mm so this 80 mm would be this dimension and this will be say 50 so click on line at a, di at a distance of say 300 300 is too short say 600 oh 600 is too long say 400 now this looks just right now say 50 80 by 50 I'll join these two so here I have my section I'll extrude it with the thickness say 20 mm so click apply now make an another sketch on this face a uh, pick rectangle and I'll make the pad proportionately say 100 by 40 yeah this looks good 100 by 40 and I'll extrude it upwards mm, yeah apply so I have just model a brake pad brake pedal this is a rough model I know so I'll just now export it for analysis file export export parasolid say break ah uh, yeah don't forget to select it before you export it or or else it won't export say break now we have exported it now open mechanical apdl so this is the file over here now open mechanical apdl go to file import import para para solid go to that location and pick that file x underscore t file so this is our model so I have made a bad decision by picking the xz plane in an x so I will just orient this with the dynamic mouse button orient this is pretty hard so I am here right now I have oriented it now go to preferences structural ok preprocessor element type add 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 a solid solid of brick 8 brick 8 node 185 because this is good for solid modeling in ANSYS close no need for real constants go to material properties material models structural linear elastic isotropic say let's say 2e phi and 0.3 now you might wonder 2e phi and 0.3 are material properties of steel and who designs a brake pedal with steel well apparently I do exit mm, meshing mesh tool in the drop down select areas mesh select the ok close this warning and select this whole area pick all close so this has been meshed accordingly and uh, meshing 
has been refined at points where we actually need it to be refined so meshing is done now go to loads loads define loads apply structural displacement now I'll arrest all degrees of freedom at, the, at this fixed point or say fixed area no I'll just first orient this on areas select this area click OK all degrees of freedom so it's been arrested there now I'll assign a force on the pad yeah force moment on nodes pick some node here click OK and you should be careful about the direction too I'll pick the Z direction as you can see the Z direction is uh, vertical to the I mean perpendicular to the brake pad so FZ say minus 300 newtons close this warning now load has been given now go to solution solve current load step so solution is done now go to general post processor plot results deform shape deform plus undeformed shape so this is the deformed and undeformed shape the undeformed shape is the blue one you can go to contour plot, nodal solution, mm, DOF solution, displacement of everything, displacement along x, y, z, this is displacement vector sum. And so these are the displacements, maximum displacement is at the edge. You can also see the undeformed shape like this. For stresses go to element, no sorry, for stresses go to nodal solution, stress you might want to see warn my sisters so this is the warn my sis plot here is the maximum stress because this point is fixed so that's all about this tutorial guys if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for more thanks for watching